On behalf of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, it's a pleasure to present automation and integration of threshold peak skin dose radiation exposure and post-exposure monitoring. We have no financial disclosures. Pediatric interventional techniques infrequently require radiation levels that result in deterministic effects. Skin has the lowest reported threshold for these effects in patients receiving greater than two gray. In light of these risks, the delivery of quality patient care and fulfillment of regulatory requirements necessitates a formalized notification system for threshold events. The purpose of our project was to clarify and simplify the existing safety process, including identification, notification, and documentation of threshold events. In addition, we wanted to create a tool that allowed cross-communication between interventional cardiology and interventional radiology, where patients have the highest risk of radiation exposure. In order to accomplish this, we engaged in a multidisciplinary review of our process to identify system failures and then created modifications or interventions to address each of these. For example, to address the issues with departmental cross-communication, we created an FYI or chart flag that allowed rapid identification of patients who have received prior peak skin dose exposures in either cardiology or interventional radiology. To assist in documentation, we created template notes that assisted the procedural physicians in physical examination and recommended follow-up during the post-procedural period. To assist in identification of peak skin dose events, we utilized pre-existing radiation dose tracking software that automatically triggered notification emails when reference point dose or peak skin dose met critical values. Clinicians were expected to follow their patients through podromal and latent stages into the manifest illness stage and refer patients to dermatology if skin changes were identified. Additionally, we used an embedded quality tracking tool in the electronic medical record to document threshold and near threshold events to better characterize radiation use trends within the department. We reviewed patient events in the fourth quarter of 2019, our pre-intervention period, and the first two quarters of 2020, our post-intervention period. Prior to our intervention, absent or incomplete documentation was present for both the initial and manifest illness period in all three patients who received threshold dose. Following the intervention, five of seven patients had completed documentation through the critical period. Of these patients, one was sent to dermatology for consultation for post-radiation skin changes. One documentation failure was related to an education gap in a consultant provider. Sadly, one patient passed during the immediate post-procedure period, and therefore documentation could not be completed. Overall, post-exposure patient tracking and documentation compliance can be improved with simple, low-input interventions that result in improved management of pediatric patients exposed to skin injury threshold doses of diagnostic medical radiation. For our next PDSA cycle, our goal is to address the residual documentation gaps and integrate clinical decision support into the electronic medical record to assist in clinical management. Thank you very much for your attention 